Hey there. Welcome back to our channel. Did you know that a staggering 85% of men failed to recognize the subtle signs of infidelity in their relationships? Surprising, right? But it's the harsh reality for many. Most men simply don't pick up on the small yet powerful clues that point to cheating. But don't worry. I'm here to change that today. We're going to delve into the psychology behind these signs and the hidden phrases that women use when they're being unfaithful. By the end of the, this video, you'll have the knowledge to protect yourself and safeguard your relationship before we dive in, though. Let me remind you, if you're ready to truly understand the female mind and transform the way you navigate love and relationships, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Each of my upcoming videos is packed with tips that could not only save your relationship, but help you build stronger, deeper connections in the future. Now let's get into it, gentlemen. Pay close attention, because what I'm about to reveal could unlock some of the deepest, most perplexing mysteries of female behavior. Here's the truth. Women can be masters at concealing their true feelings and intentions, especially when it comes to infidelity. But how do they do it? What signs might you be overlooking? You've probably heard the saying that women are experts at hiding things, and it's not just a myth, in fact. Women are often far more subtle and strategic than men when it comes to cheating, while many men might leave OB via signs when they're unfaithful. Women tend to be more calculated, even turning deception into an art form. But here's the good news. I'm going to help you uncover those hidden signs today. I'll be revealing six key phrases that women often use when they're cheating. Phrases that most men miss completely. These aren't just idle words, they carry hidden meanings that signal emotional and physical detachment. But before we get into the first phrase, consider this. What if your partner has already said some of these things? What if her actions and words have been telling you something all along and you simply haven't noticed this? Information could be the difference between living a lie and uncovering a truth that could change everything. So without further ado, let's jump in and explore the first phrase number one. So-and-so understands me so well when your partner begins to mention someone else, especially in an admiring or affectionate light. It's easy to brush it off as harmless at first. After all, we all have friends who support us and make us feel understood. But what if there's more beneath the surface if she says something like, so-and-so understands me so well? It may seem like an innocent observation, a simple acknowledgement of another person's empathy. However, such words can sometimes signal something much deeper. This phrase may indicate that she is beginning to forge an emotional connection with this person, a connection that can sometimes precede any physical attraction. Emotional bondings you see often have a far more subtle and insidious way of creeping in. Infidelity doesn't always manifest through physical touch. It can begin with the feeling of being truly understood by someone else. Someone who provides comfort and connection where you may no longer be. Imagine this scenario. Your partner frequently talks about a coworker, initially mentioning them casually, perhaps complimenting their sense of humor or how they helped her with a project over time. These mentions become more frequent, and the tone shifts to one of admiration. She starts comparing you to this person saying things like, so-and-so gets me so much better than you do. This might seem innocent at first, but as these remarks become a regular pattern, you begin to sense something more something that shouldn't be overlooked. The truth is, emotional infidelity can be just as damaging as physical betrayal. When your partner starts building a deep, meaningful connection with someone outside of your relationship, it's important to ask yourself, what's really happening here? Don't dismiss these subtle signs as harmless banter or simple friendship. When someone is emotionally drawn to another person, it can be the first step towards something far more dangerous and far more painful than you might realize be aware of. These quiet signals, gentlemen, the slow, steady buildup of admiration, can be a prelude to a deeper detachment that can shake the foundation of your relationship. Trust your instincts and never ignore the things that don't feel quite right. If this topic resonates with you, show your support by commenting one. If not, a simple click on the like button would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, number two. Don't worry. I'm just going out with some friends. At first glance, this statement might seem completely innocent. Natural, even we all need time to nurture our individual friendships and a healthy relationship. 
allows space for such personal connections. However, when you dig deeper, this seemingly harmless excuse can sometimes mask something much more insidious when someone is hiding infidelity. They often are on what we might call routine lies, excuses that seem entirely plausible on the surface, but are designed to cover up behavior that would otherwise raise suspicions. Don't worry. I'm just going out with some friends might sound like nothing more than a simple assertion of independence. But pay close attention to the frequency of this excuse and any inconsistencies in the details your partner provides if this phrase becomes more common, or if the stories around these outings become vaguer and harder to follow. It's time to trust your instincts and look deeper. Picture this scenario your partner who has always spent time with her friends without issue casually tells you she's going out for dinner with them again. At first, this doesn't raise any red flags. But as time goes on, you notice it happening more often with her responses becoming more nonchalant when you ask who she's meeting. Her answer. Answer is vague, just the girls, but no names, no specifics. Later she becomes increasingly absorbed in her phone, texting someone with a level of secrecy that seems out of place. These subtle changes are not random. They often signal that what she's saying doesn't quite align with what she's doing. When someone is trying to conceal infidelity, these small routine lies become their armor. The more they tell you, the more they hope to deflect your attention from what's truly going on. This is a moment for you to truly listen to what's unsaid. If her outings are becoming more frequent and her explanations more elusive, don't let your suspicions fall into the background. Trust your gut relationships are built on transparency, and when that begins to falter, patterns emerge. Pay attention to those quiet shifts. They might be trying to tell you something you're not yet ready to hear. Number three. I need more space for myself at first glance. This phrase might seem entire. L. Reasonable a simple request for the personal space we all crave from time to time after all isn't space essential for individual growth and reflection. But here's where the waters begin to muddy. While a desire for personal space can be healthy in any relationship, it can also mask something deeper, something more unsettling when your partner expresses is a need for more space. It might be more than a plea for solitude. It could be an attempt to build a wall between the two of you a subtle insidious way of creating distance in a relationship that once felt close. And while a healthy relationship does indeed require a balance of togetherness and independence, it's important to be aware of the subtle shift that may occur when space turns into something else entirely. Think about it if her need for space evolves into longer stretches of time apart, or if she begins to retreat emotionally, these may be signs that something is a miss it's not unusual for someone to desire some time alone. But when that time apart becomes frequent and unexplained, it's worth examining the deeper reasons behind it. Consider this example she starts staying out late more often, perhaps even entire weekends without providing clear reasons. At first you might brush it off assuming it's nothing more than a need for personal downtime. But over time, the absence becomes more pronounced and the emotional distance becomes harder to ignore. Communication slows. She no longer seeks out your company as she once did. This is when the warning bell should start ringing a relationship thrives on connection, physical and emotional. And when that connection begins to fray, it's time to look more closely. If her space becomes a guise for avoiding you or spending more time with someone else, you are no longer just witnessing the need for solitude but the unraveling of something deeper in these moments. It's essential to pause and ask what's really going on here when the desire for space becomes a barrier rather than a breath of fresh air. It's time to pay attention. The absence of closeness speaks louder than words ever could. If this topic resonates with you, show your support by commenting one if not a simple click on the like button would be greatly appreciated. Thanks number four, I'm working late tonight. This excuse I'm working late tonight is as old as time itself. It's a classic, almost universally accepted explanation for absence work after all. It's something we all experience. Deadlines, meetings, and overtime are part of modern life making the office an easy cover for those who wish to explain their prolonged disappearances. But when this excuse becomes a routine, 
Something deeper may be brewing beneath the surface. If your partner is suddenly working late more often than usual, or taking on extra projects with little to no prior notice, it's time to take a closer look. Work can be a convenient shield, but pattern have way of revealing the truth. The question isn't just whether she's working late, it's how often she uses this excuse and how she reacts when you ask about it. Ask yourself, is she defensive when you inquire about her work? Are her explanations clear and consistent? Or do they begin to lose their structure when someone is using work as a cover for something else? The inconsistencies in their story can be ussy, but they are there quietly begging for attention. Perhaps she becomes distant or uncommunicated a active when she claims to be working overtime. If work suddenly becomes a regular excuse for her absences, leaving you feeling more like a stranger than a partner, it's time to dig deeper. Pay close attention to her reactions when you ask about her time. Does she shy away from providing details? Do her explanations lack cognition? Or do they leave you with more questions than answers? A relationship thrives on trust. And when that trust is shaken by inconsistencies or evasions, it's a signal that something is amiss in these moments. You are not just questioning the validity of an excuse. You are questioning the foundation of the bond you share. Trust your instincts if something feels off. It probably is, and in relationships, ignoring the signs cannot often be more damaging than confronting the truth. Number five, I think we need some time apart. I think we need some time apart. This phrase, often veiled in the guise of rationality, can be a signal that something deeper is stirring Ben beneath the surface in healthy relationships. Taking a step back to reflect and regroup can sometimes be a necessary step. However, when this suggest gestion comes without clear communication, or when it seems to arise out of the blue, it may not simply be about needing space, rather. It could be an attempt to create distance without the burden of commitment or accountability when your partner suddenly suggests taking time apart. It's crucial to pause and look beyond the words. Is this request a thoughtful invitation to ref-reflect, or is it in reality an escape away to explore something outside the confines of the relationship? free from the weight of your presence without clarity, or open discussion about the issues in your relationship. This phrase can easily mask a desire to pursue something or someone else without you ever being the wiser. If this suggestion arises unexpectedly with no prior signs of trouble or conversation about your shared future, it's time to dig deeper, while space can sometimes be healthy. The intention behind it is what matters most. Is she genuinely seeking solitude to reflect on the relationship? Or is this the beginning of a quiet exit, a way to test the waters of independence possibly? Without you, relationships are built on connection trust and the courage to confront challenges together when that bond starts to fray, when space begins to take the place of togetherness. It's no longer just about the time apart. It's about what that time will mean for the future. If you sense that the suggestion isn't grounded in reflection but in avoidance, listen closely to the unspoken message. Time apart in its truest form should never be an excuse to drift away without returning. Unless, of course, the distance is the beginning of an irreversible separation. Number six, you deserve someone better than me when a woman utters the words you deserve someone better than me. It's rarely a statement made lightly. Often it is fraught with emote emotional weight a veil of guilt, regret, or even sorrow on the surface. It may sound like a self-deprecating expression, a sign that she's grappling with her perceived inadequacies yet beneath the surface. This phrase can serve as a subtle prelude to something deeper, something darker. It's her way of preparing you for the possibility of separation, cushioning the blow of what may lie ahead. This statement is not simply about her feelings of unworthiness, it can also be a clever deflection by focusing the conversation on her flaws or shortcomings. She diverts attention away from the true issue at hand, the fractures within the relationship itself. In some instances, this phrase is a quiet, almost subconscious admission that something has already gone. I, it may be an indirect acknowledgement of her emotional or physical involvement with someone else. Perhaps even an affair she might tell herself that if she can make you believe she's the one who's not good enough, it somehow justifies her actions as though her faults make the damage she's caused less significant. Yet what this phrase fails to mask is the painful truth 
that her behavior is harming the very connection you share. She knows this in the depths of her conscience. She understands the impact of her choices and by saying you deserve someone better, she's expressing the sorrow of knowing that she has failed you in ways she cannot undo. This phrase is not just a reflection of her self-doubt. It's a poignant reminder that sometimes we attempt to absolve ourselves of guilt by shifting the blame to others, even if that means break in the very heart that trusted us in relationships. Understanding these phrases is not just a matter of hearing words, it's about tuning into the unspoken, the deeper currents that often go unnoticed. These words carry more weight than you may realize they are subtle signals, hidden cries for help, or even quiet confessions of guilt. Listening carefully with awareness and empathy can be the difference between preserving what you cherish or watching it slip away before you even realize what's happening. Trust yourself when your gut whispers that something isn't right. Don't ignore it. It's your intuition trying to guide you toward the truth, toward clarity. The signs are there. You just need to open your eyes and your heart to see them. If this resonates with you, if you feel that spark of recognition, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join this community, where we dive deep into the complexities of relationships, love, and understanding. The intricate, beautiful mystery of the female mind. I want to hear your thoughts, your experiences, share them in the comments below, because we're all navigating this journey together, learning, growing, and supporting each other along the way together. We can turn these insights into powerful actions. Don't let this moment pass. Let's make it the start of a deeper understanding and a stronger connection.